Okay, so what we have here is, uh, I started a little bit ahead of time. What we have here is a regular future bowl. We use future to see our handles and temperatures that we're going to be using today. A little bit better than uh, standard steel. Uh, what I added to the mix just then was about 70% cream. Uh, the rest is milk. All locally sourced from the Pemberton area. Nice uh, fresh product. Nothing added, no artificial anything at all. So it's direct from the farmer. Straight to us, just uh, about half an hour's drive from here. What we've also got in there is a little bit of sugar and plantation vanilla bean as well. Can give us a nice vanilla ice So, what I'm adding to that is liquid nitrogen. And it's about minus 196 degrees Celsius, minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. The reason why we do this is, one, it's really good and a lot of fun <laughs> to do table side. Like, a lot of people are interested in it. Yeah. Not a lot of places do it. It's not very common. As you can see, it's quite quick and easy to freeze two portions. The other reason why we do it is uh, because the fat content of the cream in the ice cream that we're making is quite high. Even for a commercial freezer to freeze it, it takes a bit of time. Uh, you'd have to leave it in there for quite a while and in the portion sizes that we need, it won't set properly and it's not going to be a nice product. Yeah. The reason why we use about 70% cream is, yes it is higher fat content, but it's like I said all natural, very very minimal processing has been done to it, it's very good for you and it gives us a very nice creamy product at the table side as well. Because it's uh, been frozen so quickly, it's gone from a creamy kind of mix straight to ice cream. It creates a very, very fine water crystal. It's very, very uh, smooth. It's the opposite of leaving your ice cream in the freezer for too long. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you know how it, it turns granulated if you leave it in there for too long? This is the complete opposite, so it'll be very, very smooth. What we have in the middle of the table to uh, mix our ice cream with, oh, yeah. or our little condiments that you will, we have chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, uh, crushed dehydrated waffles, candied nuts, chocolate pearls, and today we've got raspberries as well. Yay! <coughs> Would you like to try some? As well? No, thank you. Very <laughs> Oh, that's right. It's not my friend either. No, it's, not it's my, my friend tonight. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> crushed dehydrated waffles. Yes. How does, does one dehydrate? Well, we waffle? take a waffle, we break it up into little pieces, and we yes. put it in the oven. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I got one last little quick Ah, yes, uh, I saw the video. A little bit of liquid nitrogen. It's going to be quick, it's going to evaporate. Yeah. So, it's not compressed, it is a gas. This is in liquid form. Yeah. One of uh, the most abundant elements in the atmosphere. Uh, without nitrogen in the atmosphere, nothing would really exist. We use food grade products, obviously, because we're selling it to uh, patrons like yourselves. Mm. But there's no problem with consuming nitrogen. It's already in all of the meals you've already had for your entire life. So it's actually boiling right now. You can kind of see in there. It's the same as boiling water, except it happens at a much lower temperature. So as it's boiling, it's uh, returning to the atmosphere. So what I'm going to do is uh, dispose of it. As soon as it warms up, it's gone. Just like that. 